Hello again everyone. I hope you learned this subject of making consecutive numbers very well. And now let's see its function which is very interesting. Alright, I make a code block here. For example, I tell it from 0 to 10 with steps of 1. As we can see, it gives us from 0 to 10 with steps of 1, 11 numbers. Let me just add a point here that in a code block, if you let the third part be blank, it equals to steps of 1. For example, if I uh, say 0 to 10 here without the third part, as you can see, it will be like this. Yes. In fact, it equals to writing this. It's not different. So if you want to consider 1 as your steps, well, you are able not to write it here. Yes. As you can see, it won't be different. Or for example, 5 to 10. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, as you can see, it's like this. Okay, look. I need a point here. Okay, I added. Uh, then Control B to turn around and get over here. Alright my friends, I want to remove a wrong mentality from your mind right now. Which is, when you have a node, this node's input cannot be included of two nodes. For example, if I want to give an example, I cannot give this to this and give it to this as well. But that same node can be included of more numbers. Well, how many numbers in this node? As you can see, 11. I can give all of these 11 to its Z as a node. Well, if we check this out, it seems really interesting. Because it created 11 points for us. I can give many numbers to each input of this node. But the point is, it should be as a node. What does as a node mean? It means for example, I cannot say, let me, okay, and for example, I cannot say 1 and 2, 3, various code blocks which uh, there are numbers in them, or various sliders. I'm not able to do this, ever. Only a wire should go to this input, but through that same wire it could be various numbers. More numbers can enter to this input port. So if in our code block we made consecutive numbers and give it to one of these, something interesting happens then and much more numbers will be made. Now what if uh, I give this to this one or to this one? It will be like uh, this as you can see. So, we made 11 points only by a point node. Alright, uh, you got it? Okay, uh, after that, uh, let me disconnect this and this one. And now, we need to make points by the various consecutive number states. Uh, Alright, uh, for example, if I want to uh, change this number, yes, to... 20 hashtag 20 which means I need 20 numbers with the steps of two and a half Start from zero uh, with the steps of two and a half 20 numbers Well, if I connect this to this one it makes 20 numbers for me and there is a question here Can we put an unknown instead of these numbers? What does it mean exactly? It means that our number isn't fixed so that we can make it more. I'll say yes to this question. Code block has a feature that if you write a thing, write a letter in it, it recognizes that as an input port. We've done it before, right? Before we used to say a divided by two, we gave it a and then it gave us an output. Now what did we do here? We gave it a in itself. Now if we give it A, it is applied right here, after hashtag which specify the number. The result is if I give it an integer, yes, right click, search integer, 
click on it I put it here connect this to this one and look at it all right as you can see the result we have a lot to do with them fine so each part of the code block can be on now each part of it can turn into an input port let's make its steps on noun or parametric whatever you call it like mm, b now what happened it needs two inputs for the first port it takes the number for the second port it takes the distances of the points i'm gonna copy then paste it here let's give it a smaller number like one and connect it to this one okay let's close it uh, so this is the number as you can see and as I told you before this is the distances of the points it's the way that you can expand the volumes or change their size or change the number of their meshes through these simple techniques so we learned in this rhythm make some parts parametric in other words we put some letters in it and uh, then turn them into input ports yes and after that gave them numbers well there's a question here do you remember when I told you number and integer are separated sometimes well in here can I give the number slider to a uh, okay well right click number slider okay uh, you may say yes why not you may say they have no special difference one of them is just decimal look at here when you use number slider for the number which is a and cannot be decimal it makes it integer automatically see here it doesn't give us an error and it makes it integer for example I give it a smaller number like one and a half or three and a half as you can see it gives us four or three and two tenth and it makes it like integer and gives us three but sometimes it gives us an error you must be aware of that but in my opinion to use integer is more reasonable well let's get to another example for example we're gonna have some points that we need its end specified so with a specified end for example here uh, from 0 to mm, length of 20 and it's divided between them and then hashtag n I want it be on now okay I give it to x and integer here okay put it here and 5 and connect it to this one what's the point here okay the point is that this end point is always 20 hence it's fixed when you increase it uh, it would be like this I'm alright uh, now uh, let's get to this remove this hashtag and put this hashtag before 20 it will be 20 numbers with these distances and its length isn't fixed at all it will be something else entirely so if I want the length be fixed I should remove the hashtag before 20 and put it before n as you can see yes uh, if I control the distances through the number okay if it isn't this hashtag uh, what will happen after that its end may not be 20 anymore see uh, for example it has no 20 it's that same making numbers uh, it has no difference but you know you just use this as a node so the various states of code block that we told you can make a point yes over here each of them is used somewhere and based on some system we can put an uh, unknown or parameter instead of one of these or two of these or all of these and turn them into port and control them by the slider which you connect them to it so I'm gonna ask you to practice chapter very well 
make different points creatively. Uh, for example, uh, you know, connect this uh, to everywhere uh, like this. Uh, let me put the hashtag here. Okay. Uh, okay. See, uh, it's changing. So practice all of it very well, uh, so that for the last chapter, I'm gonna explain line for you. Okay. Until then, see you later.